Hi folks, welcome back uh, to Coffee with Ravi. Uh, I'd like to take a moment to thank all of you. Uh, some of you have made uh, suggestions such as leaving the slides on for a longer period of time and we will incorporate that. We're glad to have Dr. Kalala back uh, to talk to us today. Before we talk about the topic on hand, uh, I'm sure all of you have heard the encouraging news that the Moderna vaccine, the peer-reviewed study got published. 45 participants were there from the ages of 18 to 55 and all of them developed antibody response. In other words, they developed protective antibodies suggesting the vaccine works. To me, this is a, a wonderful piece of news because as society we've been at blame that we're not doing the social distancing measures etc. But by the same token, nobody innovates like us here. And this is a very wonderful step uh, that uh, I think all of you uh, would find encouraging as well. We hope to see the results play out in the next level of trials and hopefully we'll have a vaccine uh, by the end of the year. On a separate note, uh, today what we wanted to talk about is quality in endoscopy. All of you ask, if you come to digestive health, how do you know that the colonoscopies that we do are picking up the polyps and that we are finding the polyps at the right rate in other words, are we good endoscopists? Is there good quality in endoscopy being done here? And that's the question that I wanted to ask Dr. Kalala. He's been uh, part of the American College of Gastroenterology, and this has been an area of his interest. So Srinivas, how, how would you answer that question? How is quality in endoscopy being measured? In other words, as it relates to preventing colon cancer, are we finding the polyps that we should? What's our data? What's your, uh, what's your take on that? Sure, uh, thank you for having me here. Uh, it's a very important topic uh, because of the quality reflects a good outcome. Uh, we've been uh, one of the pioneers in Northeast Iowa to implement GI Quick. A GI Quick stands for GI Quality Implement Consortium. It is an independent organization which has both scientific and educational background formed by gastroenterologists. It is endorsed by two associations, American College of Gastroenterology and American Society of Gastrointestinal Endoscopy. This was formed in 2010 and they have proved that quality endoscopy leads to better outcomes of patient clinical care and in general public health. So what GI Quick means is they collect real-time data from various medical practices of independent physicians and as a group and they have compared live data with individuals within the group, within the state, within the nation to see their quality metrics. These quality metrics have scientific basis. There are 12 quality control measures for colonoscopy. The most commonly we used are ADR, adenoma detection rate. The higher the ADR a person finds during colonoscopy, that means they are doing a quality job, these adenomas are precancerous polyps. And what we do is we compare the ADR within our group and we compare with the within the state and nation we have one of the highest ADRs in the state. In other words we are finding the polyps that we should be finding. Finding and there are also various measures we check when the procedure is done. If the procedure is for right indication or they're doing for right screening time what is called as interval colonoscopy for surveillance and they are reaching to cecum that is the final destination we do a colonoscopy or we are looking for quality of preparation how good is the colon cleaned are we able to see most of the colon so these quality metrics we have endorsed and which has become a standard of practice even the medicare has accepted GA quick as their quality control registry network where which is used for paying the physicians for the quality metrics. The important thing about GI Quick is when it started in 2010, the first month they had 100,000 people 
were doing colonoscopy. Now in 2019, there were 10 million colonoscopies done by the registry. So it is one of the largest used registries and we have been one of the pioneers to use in 2014. So in getting to our own data, and this is your chance to brag us up a little bit, how have we been doing? So I would, I'm happy to share, we embraced the challenge of GA Quick when it came initially. We opened the data to the public and we could proudly say we have one of the highest ADR, what is called adenoma detection rate. We have the highest sequel intubation rate. That means each time we do a colonoscopy, we get to the destination and we have good outcomes of the patients. So in, I would be happy to sh say we do a quality work by all our providers and we stay the adenoma detection rate which is way ahead of the national standards. Good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I think it's important to kind of keep looking at this quality aspect because the more polyps we find, the more cancer that's prevented. And it's important, I think, as a medical community to be open and transparent with our results. The slides that we have shared with you today are the slides that come from GI Quick and the slides also come from our own practice here. Thank you uh, for joining us today and thank you, Dr. Kalala, for joining us. Uh, we hope to continue to see you on this platform. Thank you, stay safe.